Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. And in my opinion, this is easily one of the most underrated iOS software updates ever. And of course, that probably due to the publicity it got and of course, a lot of expectations that people had basically waiting for iOS 15 to be a complete overhaul of iOS or stuff like that. But it is actually an amazing update and you will be surprised with the things that you can do on iOS 15. Basically features that you didn't even ever think you will get on iOS. So in this video, I will show you guys some of these features and of course the amazing things that you can do on your device on iOS 15. Now, another amazing thing you can do right now is hit that like button of this video. That helps out a lot and of course makes this video do much, much better. Before we even begin talking about the amazing things you can do on iOS 15, let's just first point out the battery life and performance of iOS 15. Both of them actually amazing. I'm not surprised that Apple did push the public beta of iOS 15 earlier than we expected because it's very, very stable and probably you will be running it on a daily basis on a device on a daily device and not even notice that you actually have a beta installed and battery life it's also really good i didn't even notice the change from ios 14.6 to ios 15 beta 1 even though it's a major update it has more than 500 new features the battery life it's still great and of course performance is great very very smooth and it doesn't actually have that many bugs of course we'll have bugs as with every other ios version even if it's 14.6 14.7 it will still have bugs but nothing that will actually interrupt you while using your iphone on daily basis and now let's move on to some crazy features that you will be able to find on iOS 15 and one of them right here on the photos app. So of course you get pictures from someone on iMessage, you have them saved on your photos app right there. It will show you the name of the contact that has sent you that picture right there at the top. What you can do here is just tap that button and it will actually take you to that conversation and will show you the pictures where you got them from. And what you can also do is on a picture, if you have it saved right here on the photos app, App and you got it from one of your contacts from iMessage what I can do here if I want to reply to this picture I can do that actually from here from the photos app just swipe up here to show the details of the picture you can see it shows you the contact that has actually sent you this picture you can just tap that button and it will take you right to the iMessage interface from where you can specifically go ahead and reply to that picture that you got from that contact. And one of the craziest things that you can do with iOS 15 is use drag and drop basically anywhere with any app and anything as well. So here I'm on iMessage, I have a few pictures here on the conversation. I can just go ahead and select these pictures here. I can go ahead and select something else. So maybe like a note that I have here or a gift that I have here. And I can also select these emojis, go out of here. And I just wanna save them into a note here. Just drag and drop and you will have everything saved here. So you can just basically go ahead and select any files, any types of files from any app and just drag them and draw them on any app. Maybe like drag these into an email or drag them into another iMessage conversation or even into the files app. Just select the, any files you want of any type and just drag and drop them through iOS. Now this right here is actually pretty cool. I got this from iOS beta on Reddit. Shout out to the person who posted this. I didn't get this myself, this notification, but it was posted there. So basically if you have on your calendar, if you have scheduled like a flight, you can see Siri will suggest you to turn on airplane mode when the flight time comes. So you can see right here it says settings, turn on airplane mode, flight found in calendar. You get that notification and of course, from here, you can just tap and go ahead and turn on the airplane mode before you start your flight. You probably know that on iOS, you have a clock icon. It's on the home screen. It is actually active, so it shows you the current time. It's just not 
like a static icon, but on iOS 15, it also does that on the Spotlight Search. So if you're searching for the clock on Spotlight Search, you will get an icon that's live and it actually shows you the current time. On the new Safari on iOS 15, now we have groups of tabs. So if you have a group, you can go ahead and actually 3D touch on it. So if we just go here and go to the groups, you can see we have three tabs there. I can go ahead and 3D touch on it and it will show me the icons and also the names of the websites that I have on that group. Now from here, of course, I can go ahead and open any of these websites or I can just tap there and it will completely copy the links to all of these websites that are on that group of tabs. Now, this will take a while to get used to, but working with groups of tabs is actually very, very useful. And it will be much, much easier for you to organize your tabs and know which tabs, of course, for which purposes you have where. You can just name groups, create new groups, and just organize your tabs into different groups. You will also get some very cool new features on the Voice Memos app. So when you go to your Voice Memos, of course, you will have your recordings here. What you can do here is actually change the speed from here and also skip silence. So if you have a voice recording and you're listening to it, you don't have to listen to the part where is no one talking or where is silent iOS 15 will skip that for you and take you right to the part when someone is speaking or there is no silence. And the live text feature of iOS 15 is actually really, really good. It allows you to basically copy anything anywhere on iOS and even enter text directly from the camera, which can replace your keyboard simply by tapping paste input text from camera and you're good to go. You don't even have to type anything, but it works also on different apps, different websites, pictures within websites, right? You can see I'm on Amazon taking a look at a product. What if I want to just Google this product right here on the picture? I can tap and hold there. And all I have to do there is just go ahead and actually copy the name of this product. And I will be able to actually go ahead and maybe Google this or do anything I want. So just tap and hold on any text, whether that be on a picture or anywhere, just tap and hold and you're good to go. Now here is another great feature that you get with iOS 15. And this is also one saved from iOS beta on Reddit. Now on iOS 15, you will be able to turn off files backup on iCloud. So you can see in this case here, there are like 16 gigs of files. Of course, you don't want to upload all of those to your iCloud and back them up. If you just have like downloads that you just need it temporarily or you just need them on one device, you can go ahead and now turn off the files from backing up on your iCloud. There is a new feature that you will also find now on the location services. So there is new option. When you go to one of your apps, you can see you have never ask next time or while using the app. And you will have now here ask next time or when I share. So if you have basically said this, the next time you use the app will ask you for your location or when you want to share something from the app, it will actually ask you to use the location before sharing it. So if you don't want to share something with your location data on it, you can, of course, basically just choose no from there and it will ask you anytime you want to share something from one of your apps. And of course, the left behind feature on the new Find My app on iOS 15 is also one of the best ones that we got on iOS for a long time. I'm just seeing pictures of people posting every day about iOS 15 and watchOS 8, basically notifying them that they have left behind one of their devices that's just amazing and of course very very helpful and will probably save a lot of devices from being lost or maybe even stolen by forgetting them maybe in a public place on anywhere you will now get notified when you leave one of your devices behind of course one of the apps that got the most new features and a complete redesign on ios 15 was the weather app and it is actually amazing but the best thing about it is the notifications for your location or any other location that you choose. You can see right here, you 3D touch on the notification and it says that light rains soon. So it's expected to start raining and it shows you the exact time when it's expected to start raining. And of course, how long it will last. That's just amazing. And of course, very, very useful. 
and here is a screen recording that I did earlier. You can see this notification from the mail app. You can actually just 3D touch on the notification and you will be able to just read the email or even read anything else on that thread directly from the notification. You will be able to actually scroll on it and that's actually amazing and very useful as well. So all of these amazing features on iOS 15 and it's just beta 2 and you can expect more to come with beta 3 which I expect to be released this week and that of course should contain a lot of new features as well. But we also have news regarding the final release of iOS 15. So the rumors say that the new iPhone will be actually released on the 24th actually it will go on sale on 24th so it is expected to be announced on on september 14th and it will go on pre-order as usual on a friday or on the 17th and you can expect it of course to go to the public to go in people's hands on the 24th now usually what apple does they release the new ios software a day or two before the release of the new devices as of course they come with that software already installed on them so you can expect iOS 15 to come out to the public on September 22nd or 23rd. These are the two dates when you can expect to get the public release of iOS 15 on your device and of course get all these amazing new features. And I believe you will be surprised with this update as I am as of course it doesn't have any like big new features like the home screen widgets that we got on iOS 14 but it has some really really amazing ones that are actually very useful as well. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Go ahead leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.